Greetings, denizens of the digital world. It is I, the Zero Killer, coming to you on day 46 of the year of vlogging dangerously. Yes, yesterday was not day 35. I shortchanged myself by 10 days. One of these days, I will consistently be able to remember the day. Well, at least the day account, because the day isn't going to happen. I'm a shift worker. Everything gets all muddled up and screwed up. And I'm not sure if it's October or the 35th of November. I, sometimes I know, sometimes I don't. But anyway, so uh, yesterday, day before yesterday, uh, I went to Chapters, and uh, Chapters being a Canadian bookstore for any of you who happen to be reading in America that don't know that. Reading in America, yes, reading. You're reading my, well, you could be reading the closed captions, in which case none of this makes sense for you anyway. But uh, for any of you watching in America land, which probably isn't the case of anything. Up here in Canada, we have uh, Chapters Bookstore, which is essentially like a Borders. I think the same company owned them both. And it's going strong here in Canada, not quite as strong in America, I know. Um, but anyway, I go to Chapters and I picked up some random books. And, uh, ah, man, I just couldn't help it. I tend to be resistant to these uber trendy series um, that are, you know, everybody's talking about and and you know the ones that the ones that are for a younger audience but somehow every spectrum of the age uh, and, you know everybody from the of the age spectrum has read them and you know loves them and eventually they're going to be a movie and in this case yes it is a movie now little known fact i have read every single harry potter book so i do slightly know the rules of quidditch i do know who the characters are, I know what the goofy the things they eat are, I know uh, all about that world, or I did at one point in time and don't anymore because I'm not an obsessive. I have read, though. I was aware, and I did read them all. Um, uh, yeah, but for the most part, I tend to ignore the books that people talk about forever and forever, the big series ones that are aimed at a younger audience. And I just couldn't help it yesterday, the day before yesterday, I picked up a, a copy of The Hunger Games. Why? Because there were 40 freaking displays in the store with it. And it was on sale. And it's a movie coming up, so I figure, eh, I may see the movie in May, if it comes out in May, I'm not sure when it's coming out, but I may see the movie for Movie May, so I might as well read the book to have a basis. And you know what? As, as weird as I felt being a 30 two or well, 31 year old man picking up a book that is primarily targeted for 12 to 17 year old girls it's a good book it's not you know it's not going to win any amazing it's not going to be one of those literary things that'll be like charles dickens books in in in, a, in centuries from now but it's a fan, fantastic did i almost say fantastic it's a good book and why I say this, why I enjoy this one, and I wasn't so much a fan of the Harry Potters, and I wasn't so much a fan of the... Okay, I'm no, <laughs> I, I wouldn't even say I'm a fan of because I haven't read, and dear God, if you catch me reading Twilight books, please, for the love of God, track me down and bludgeon me about the head with a dictionary because something has gone wrong with my brain and I need it reset if I ever read Twilight. But The Hunger Games... It catches me for one primary reason. It's dystopian as hell. It's violent. It's bloody. It's raw. And I like that in a book. I like books that aren't all about frou-frou, happy, woo, everything is great. And yes, there's triumph in this book. But it's not like it's easy one triumph. In, in the Harry Potter books, it was inevitable. Harry was going to win the day. He just had to go hoodly boom and fucking throw his wand around and magic came out and he won. And yes, towards the end they got darker, but they were always goofy and uplifting and happy and I really didn't like that. I didn't. Because all it says is, everything's great! Yay! It'll be great forever! Until, you know, Dumbledore dies. Um... You know, it's not a spoiler anymore, people. Fuck off. It's been long enough. <laughs> you, you know, but it's... Um, there's hard-fought victories in this book. There's tra tragedies. There's it's, it's one of those things that I've always loved dystopian things, but here's the thing I've got to say. As much as this is engrossing, and I've read 
two-thirds of it in two days. Um, it's just Battle Royale toned down for a girl power audience. So if you like The Hunger Games and you haven't read Battle Royale, don't get me with the watching Battle Royale, because I love Battle Royale the movie, but if you haven't read Battle Royale, you don't know anything about Battle Royale. So if you love The Hunger Games and you want a good read, Read Battle Royale. If you can't find a copy, well, something's wrong because it is carried at major bookstores. I've, there are five copies sitting at the chapters in town here. Um, but if you haven't read it, pick it up. And if you're in town here and you haven't read it, ask me. I'll give you my copy to borrow. I want it back, though, because I reread that thing yearly. It's that good. Um, yeah, it's a, it a very sharp-edged, uh, dystopian, but yet with a glimmer of hope thing. They, these types of fiction are the reason I love The Running Man, uh, why I love Demolition Man, why I love The Island, why I love a lot of shitty movies. Because it's the society. It's that, oh, everything is glimmering and happy, but in order to keep glimmering and happy, we have to feed you a horrible game show about nastiness, or we have to farm organs, or we're ignoring the fact that there's a decrepit society beneath us and people we call criminals who just wanted to live a life where they could have salt on their food and swear without having a ticket come out and having to swear 50 times to get toilet paper. You know, this is what I love about dystopian fiction and worlds. It's, it's so ripe with amazing potential. And then The Hunger Games so far has lived up to that, and I like that. Uh... Yeah, Act 3 is starting to get less so, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. Anyway, man, almost seven minutes now. Seven minutes now. So I'm going to call it. Uh, as usual, I've been the serial killer. If you've got questions, comments, concerns, death threats, you know where to send them. Well, don't send them anywhere. Just put them in the comment section below.